Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. In today's video, I am going to show you how to control your Windows laptop and desktop from your mobile phone. This method works on any Windows version and supports both Android and Apple devices. So let's dive in and set up our remote desktop access for seamless control from your phone. And this procedure is going to be the same for your Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 11. Okay, so you can see here, this is my uh, target PC. So we will we'll try to log into this machine from our mobile phone. So this is the Windows 10. So if you can show it to you, this PC, right click and go to properties. And you can see this is the Windows 10 Pro. Now, um, once you are there, you can see uh, there is a, you can see in the right hand side, you have an option called remote desktop. Just click here. And the remote desktop, in my case, it's enabled. In your case, it will be disabled. So try to enable it. Just enable this remote desktop. And then once you come down to your advanced setting, you have to remove this one. Required computer to use the network level authentication. If it is checked, you have to uncheck it. It should not be checked. Otherwise, you have to do the network NLM authentication. This is not required. Okay. And once you're there, just go back. So this is the first step. You have to enable the remote desktop and then you have to go to the advanced setting. In the advanced setting, you have to remove this network level authentication, right? So once you've done that, the second step, you have to use that user authentic. So who is going to use this computer or access this computer, right? So you can see, select the user that, select the users that can remotely access this PC. So you can click on that. As you can see here, I have only one user selected here, but you, in your case, maybe, uh, you have a uh, one or two through three users which uh, they want to use this computer not at same time but simultaneously right so what you can do is you have to add the user here so you can just click on the add advance and uh, you have to go to the find now and from here you have to add the user so in case the user is not added here what you have to do close this one right click on this pc and go to manage inside the manage you have to go to local users and group users and inside the user you have to create a new user here right this is how normally you create a user just create a user here and let's say uh, create a user called test a password would be the small password okay password cannot be changed password never expired and create it okay so now you can see i have a user created called test here so let's close this one and uh, Okay, so we have to go back to our, this PC again, properties. Inside the properties, we have to go to remote desktop. You can see right hand side. Inside that, we have to go to user account and we have to select the users and click on the add. And once you click on the add, you have to, if you know the name, just click the name here, test and check name. It will automatically resolve the name. Or if you want to, if you're not going to resolve the name, click on the advance and find now you can see here inside the find now you can you can get the list from you can get the user list from here you can see there is one user this is the one user and you can see this is the one which we have created so you can select it from here as well right click on the okay and click on the done finally okay done so this part is done configuring the remote desktop part is done here now let's come to the second level so the first level, all the step, one, two, three, four steps are completed. Now it's come to the second level. So second level, I, I show you this as a bonus. It, like sometime your network dis discovery is off and you won't be able to RDP it from any PC or any mobile phone. So how do you enable it? So you have to, you can see this is the network icon. Just click on the network icon. There could be, it, it could be your desktop or laptop, right? So this is the laptop. So desktop also the same menu will come and you have to click on the network and internet setting once you click on the network and internet setting and then you can see this is the network sharing center you can see you see here click on the network sharing center inside the network sharing center you have it you can see left hand side three option you have you have to click on the change advanced sharing setting just click here and you can see as of now i have this uh, guest and public profile this is the current profile i have so expand it and it should always have network on turn on network discovery and turn on file sharing enable if it is not enable then you have a trouble this is right so make sure that you enable this this is the second phase now once you are done with that right then third part is like you should have connected your both your mobile phone and your pc both should be connected to the same internet as you can see here as of now i am connected to home internet and my mobile phone also i am connected to the home internet okay so let me show it to you in my mobile phone and as you can see here in the mobile phone also i have connected to the internet right so this is how 
you should be connected the both your both pc and mobile phone should be connected to the same wi-fi i mean to say in the same ip address range some people can debate that it could be the different one but as, as long as you have IT, ip reachability you should be good but it, just to simplify this option uh, i said that the both should be connected to the same uh, lan and same wi-fi right now so once you are connected to the same internet what is next next is we have okay now we have to go to our phone and inside the phone we have to go to play store inside the play store we have to type a remote desktop connection and you can see here this is the first one is a remote desktop connection and it's by the microsoft corporation right you will be rest assured that this is the genuine software now we have to click on install and it's going to install this application and this is available on the apple uh, store also you can go ahead and apple store and you can download this remote desktop let me show you to you if you can on uh, this mobile phone okay let's see if let me search it remote desktop apple you can see this is available on the apple store as well so you have to go and and download it from your download it for your um, apple device you can see here remote desktop for apple and this is available for the microsoft also close this one so you can see this is available for the apple devices again so go ahead and download it on your iphone as well right so this is done so now what we have to do is now let's go to that software remote desktop. you can see rdp client click on that and it says that accept this agreement okay and then you have to see this add resources you can see here click on the add add resources and add pc when you click that it says that add manually okay and it will ask you for the ip address so what is the ip address so let's go to our pc and explore the ip address so cmd and let's see ip config and ip address is 29.152 right okay so let's add this pc manually here and see so let's add manually and in the ip address we have to type 192.168.29.152 this is the ip address and then uh, we can keep this ask when required or if you want you can add this one test i mean you can uh, just keep it as uh, ask when you run and then friendly option name you can um, enable this admin mode if you want swap mouse button you have if you have uh, if your pc in the different network different uh, ip addresses you can add a uh, gateway address here and then uh, you can you can you can this is the audio redirection you can redirect your microphone so whenever you speak something you can listen on your uh, on your pc microphone camera and these are the settings you can enable it right so let's add this and let me try to log in okay so now it's asking for the username and password so we'll add this test and let's add the password here and continue okay connect it and uh, let's see that yes it says that the user has a login login do you want to remove them yes i want to remove him and now you can see here this test is login to our okay so finally you can see our desktop is in our mobile phone so we can just show it to you. you can click on the start button and you can use this option you can if you want you can just open the excel from here so let me open the excel and see how in how it's going to show us okay so this is how it will be open this blank sheet and this is how you can see this is the excel sheet in our mobile phone I'm sorry for that it's asking for this activation and all um, i have already created a video on how to activate this uh, microsoft office 2024 you can on free of cost which you can go and watch it on my channel so that is interesting to see right uh, the desktop i mean taking the control of our desktop using our mobile phone so you know you can utilize in many ways i'm not going to tell you that what other if you are employees if you are working on uh, working with any of the company uh, you can use this method to you know to be online or something uh, there are lots of ways but um, i'm not going to disclose uh, disclose everything here but this is the one way i would say or is it productive also right when you're not in front of your system and if you want to monitor something right which is running on your on your desktop or, or in your laptop you can take the control of your mobile phone and uh, you can do that let's say assume that you are going to make the coffee or sandwich and uh, to make that you have to go to the kitchen right so you, while you're in kitchen you can monitor your uh, laptop or desktop you can monitor your task i would rather i would say right so this is how easy it is to uh, monitor your uh, desktop or task monitor your task from your mobile this procedure is applicable on your android and apple both the devices right so in the next video i'll show you how you can take control of your devices through the internet i mean you don't have to be in your connected to your uh, 
home uh, Wi-Fi router. You can be monitored. You can control your desktop anywhere in technically anywhere in the world. Yeah. So just wait for next video. I'll create a video on it and I'll share that with you. So that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more videos like it. Feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topics you would like to see in the future video. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.